that's the main reason why I miss it. Because I'm like, how can I express what I fear right now? <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to another episode of That Figure Skating Show. This week, we are bringing you International de France. Uh, it's like it's canceled, we all know that. But we have the next, or probably the best thing, French skating all encapsulated into like one half of this <laughs> partnership. We have Gabriella Papadakis. Yay! Hey, bienvenue, bienvenue. Happy, 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 happy. Welcome. It's pretty awesome. You've never been clapped for in your living room? Well, but I, I like it. I like it. Welcome. It's often, so thanks. Okay, all right. Well, anytime you need some applause, give us a shout. We're here for you. <laughs> Phenomenal fee. <laughs> yeah. How have you been? Tell us about 2020 so far for Gabriella. I guess like a lot of other skaters, we've been like not training for a couple of months at the beginning of the first, um, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> what is the name of your cat? Uh, Alize, actually. Her name is Alize, but I call her Ali. I also, I call her Poupinette, Chupi Cute, Grenouille, <laughs> like all these weird names. Every time I speak with a high voice, like, <laughs> I lost quite a few parts of my brain when I got her. It's, it's... <laughs> oh, there she is. There she is. Yeah. Yeah, she's... <laughs> I know. I know. I'm, 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 a, I'm that person. I'm that person. <laughs> Sometimes I look at myself and I'm like, wow, you're very single. You're very single. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you got a cat. You just embraced it. <laughs> That's it. That's like I gave it hope and I got a cat. But honestly, like the the weirdest, like the scariest thing that I'm very happy about that choice. Um. <laughs> so cute. I think that cat's like a representation of the way your brain works. <laughs> but it's like either like this or like I want to cuddle. But it's pretty much me. Okay. Um, yeah, no, so we've been not training for a couple of months um, at the beginning of, like, right after the cancellation of Worlds. Um, so we started training in June, July, end of June, maybe. Then we had COVID, so we were quarantined uh, in July. And then, you know, like, we we're trying to train and then rings would close and then open again and then close again and then open again. So it was pretty intense. Now... We, after a long discussion with the Federation and our coaches and stuff like that, we decided to only train for Worlds. And so uh, Guillaume would have time to go see his family in France. And now I think he's going to be back in here in a couple of days. And then we're going to start training again. And how's it been? Uh, you know, what has the experience been like for you? I've never not trained for that long. It was the first time I was here in Montreal without skating because it's basically why I came here. Uh, it's to train with my coaches in Canada. And then I was, so I was stuck here, but we couldn't train. So I was, that was an experience, even though I wish we could have done the competitions and, and, and trained. What are some things that you guys are doing as a team or individually that help you get through that? You Therap know, when you're, when you're feet therapy. <laughs> No, but no, but seriously, no, um, I mean, it's important, of course, but yeah, I mean, we, 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 we were doing um, sport therapy and therapy before, but um, right now it's, it's crucial. It's something that we for sure need and, and um, we needed it before, but we need it now. And a lot of, I guess, talking and a lot of uh, this. <laughs> 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 This, yeah, the, I, I guess this summer we, for I think for a couple of months, we were in that space of like, we don't know what's going on. And it was kind of hard, but it was also, I think the most fun we had on the ice uh, ever, because I guess because we didn't have this pressure and this rush as usual, we had to find some, another reason to train. And, and, and yeah, we, we had a lot of, we were laughing a lot and we were having fun and, and that was nice, you know, that was, 
that was also a new way of exploring our relationship, even though we laugh a lot usually, but then it was even more, it was bigger. So that's, that was nice. As innovators, as, you know, kind of one of the teams in dance history and, and pretty much the team right now who keep, you guys keep coming out with new stuff and like changing the game. What inspires you? Like, where, where do you guys draw your inspiration from to keep creating new things and, and changing the, the ice dance landscape? It comes from a lot of, lot of different places. Um, dance, like dance uh, around the world, like what's, what's being done in, 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 in different kinds of dances. Um, sometimes it's movies, sometimes it's atmosphere we can find in, in, in the music or in a video clip or it, it can be like literally anything sometimes it's like um a theater show i saw like in december i'm like oh they had a really good idea doing this and and that could be something we could incorporate in the program uh it's it's also it comes from our experiences uh in life too a lot because when we want to tell a story it's it's important that it comes from a real place and then we're like oh Remember, like I remember I had this bad breakup and I, I want to express it on the ice in my program. So I, I, think, I think it's a wonderful outlet for that. And, and that's the main reason why I miss it. Because I'm like, how can I express what I feel right now? <laughs> <laughs> I get that. Uh, that so, <laughs> so speaking of, I love that you really want your art and your sport to imitate your life experience and Guillaume's life experience. So what program would you say has been the best for you at expressing that so far? Cause I mean, we have so many favorites. Uh, like, as you know, I did that beautiful poem. Uh, for you last <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, but still one of my favorite moments of last season. It, it's hard. It's hard to, it's hard to pick because all of them tell a story that is very very personal and and it's so some it's like it's it's very um i feel the year the year after the olympics uh we were telling a story that was very concrete it was about two persons who were in love and had a difficult relationship and that was very concrete and uh, it's something that we both experienced and uh, we have other programs too, the program of the Olympic on Beethoven that is more our relationship to creation and to death. And, and it's something that occupies a lot of our mind too all the time. So it's, they're all very important. The, the build a home one was about our relationship. Um, and so they're all, I don't know. I couldn't, honestly, I couldn't pick. Uh, and what, and what, was, uh, what was fame about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's well, your story there? <laughs> I mean, Your honestly, love for it, leotards. It started as kind of a joke because we love laughing. Uh, I know in our freelances it doesn't show because we always do like deep emotional stuff. Uh, but we love to laugh at training and, and fame for us was just kind of, it started as that. It started as just like, let's do something funny. Like, let's have fun. And then we did fame and then it turned out that the story of fame is about like young people who are trying to become artists because they, they, they don't have, you know, it's their way out of their life, it's their passion. It became something almost a very, like very important, very emotional for us because it was the way that we felt too. I love that um, everything is, you find the deeper meaning in everything. Um, even just hearing about fame and you're just like, oh yeah, actually the story is very much us and now we're gonna, internalize it even more instead of making it gimmicky like we wanted before now it's actually something more personal and like yeah we're expressing and having fun but there's a deeper meaning behind that that's, that's really cool and it sounds quite typical of you guys i love that because <laughs> <laughs> sometimes when we watch your program like i feel like they just sit on like their windowsill and smoke cigarettes and just stare off into the distance <laughs> Writing in a moleskin yeah, journal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Music quietly playing in the background. Oh, an inspiration. They write it down. <laughs> Choctaw at two minutes and 42 seconds. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Showing the changing of life. One side you're in, and the yeah, other time yes. you're out. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes even the coach we were like, guys, this is just a shock though. Like, <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 
like existential crisis at every step. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. I love, I love, I love. Do you find COVID changed your dynamic as a team? Um, the working relationship without as much of those goals, you know, without those goals and the regular routine that you're used to, did it change things a bit? It does and it doesn't because um, our relationship is so old in a sense that um com- compared to our relationship covid is just covid you know we we've we've been through so many different things injuries and and just like life inside or outside skating just like challenges and, and highs and lows that we we've we've gone through so much as a team that this is just another challenge and at the same time yes it does change because our relationship even if there's a core of it that always stays the same and stays strong it, it keeps evolving all the time it never stops and 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 so it's it's interesting that way and at the same time so both yes and no <laughs> but maybe <laughs> unless <laughs> however <laughs> i love these like agnostic therefore, answers um, it's good though therefore, therefore speaking of your partnership and like you're talking about it being so long can you speak to the power of the longevity of your relationship for me i had a partner for 13 years mm-hmm. uh karis ralph and you feel like such a deep connection with them from like a little kid you're like ill girl ill boy and then you go through puberty together you're like i listen to angsty music i hate you no i hate you more and then you're <laughs> <laughs> how would you explain your relationship with uh, guillaume it's hard to explain it. We, we, we get asked this question so many times. It's like, oh, so are you more like a couple? Are you more like siblings? And it's like, honestly, we're like back partners. Like there's no, there's no equivalent in human life. Mm-hmm. Uh, like human life, if we're not human. <laughs> <laughs> we're not, we're figure skaters. Figure skaters aren't Like human. normal life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. Not. Uh, yeah. So no, there's no equivalent in normal life, and it's just uh, that's that's the beauty of it because it's non-definable at all. And I think every partnership has their relationship, and it's like you can't even compare one couple to another. It's 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 always completely different. Um, but yeah, we've we've grown up together, and I would say like we adapted each other to the other too in a in a way uh, growing up. So. And it's funny because we have this relationship that is both very mature because we've been together for so long and we experienced a lot of things. And at the same time, sometimes we act like we're nine again. Like we have the same jokes we had when we were nine. We sometimes have the same like mimics or or way of acting with each other that we had when we were nine. So it's kind of, we have this weird and and funny uh, relationship you know, sometimes we're closer than other times and it's, it's, it's funny to see each other evolve like this. And we've tried to give each other space because otherwise we would be too much. Uh, like, it's, like whenever he feels something, I feel it. And whenever I feel something, he feels it. And it's hard sometimes to like tell, uh, like I'm me, he's he. We're not just one thing, you know, because we're on, when we're on the ice, that's what we're trying to do. So, I mean, it's interesting. What are your thoughts on the landscape of ice dance right now? You train at pretty much the top club in the world. Uh, you have French national champions, Canadian champions, mm-hmm. US, current U.S. champions, mm-hmm. all training under your roof in Gadebois. Um, so what is, what are your thoughts on the state of ice dance right now? Who's your biggest competition? Uh, or if you even see these people as like your competition, not in saying that like they're worse than you, but like seeing them as you just see them as your training mates and people who like kind of push you. No, of course, Uh, of course. And it's very inspiring because there are a lot of very good teams, especially, um, all the American teams that are here in Montreal that are very, very good and are high level and they all have their own styles which are different from us. And it, it's very interesting because what we were doing, they couldn't do it. What they're doing, we couldn't do it. We all get along so well too. That is, it's, um, it's truly like, um, I feel very lucky to be surrounded by people who are inspiring and who are challenging because you see them and you're like, uh, but at the same time, we get along so well and that there's this spirit of, of yes, there's a competition between us that we're trying to keep and, and just to, to let us feed us. But there's also a, a, 
like a very in like a very big sense of camaraderie and I don't know how can you say that in English of like mm -hmm. of like yeah of like solidarity and you're like yeah I mean we all against each other but we're also all in this together like and and, and sometimes it's nice because even even couples that I don't know that well I, I love being in a changing room and, and I'm scared as hell and I'm like oh my god they're all so better than me and I'm like but I look at them and I see how scared they are too and I'm like but we're also in this together like I'm, I'm almost the only person right now who can feel the way you feel, even if we're against each other. So it's very nice. And, uh, and even the two Russian teams right now, um, the best Russian team, they're very good. And, and I, yeah, I feel like they're also our biggest competitors, but they're also very nice. And, and I love seeing them around. So it's, I feel really lucky for that because I, I feel like it hasn't always been the culture in skating and, and ice skating from what I've been told, but right now it's, it's, it's very nice. Like there's a big level, everybody has their own style and at the same time there's, everybody's nice. So it's cool. At least to your face, but that's. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like I, so naive and like they all hate me. <laughs> You're very hateable Gabs. Very yeah. hateable. <laughs> I want to ask you one final question. What, uh, what would you say is the biggest gift that um, this time away from the rink has given you? Well, it's given me time. And I didn't have the choice really because we've always been in this like rat race and like competition and then competition and then another and then like stress and pressure that we never had time to sit and just like watch what's going on in there. And I feel like the quarantine has given me and I feel like a lot of other people, no choice to like look inward. Not always fun, but it's really worth it because I feel like at the end of this, when it's all gonna be over and we'll, we'll have all done this really hard and tough work of introspection, I feel like even on the ice, we'll be able to express more deeply who we are because we know each other, we know ourselves even better, so. I feel like that's that's the gift. It all it doesn't always feel like a gift, but I feel like at the end of the day it won't be a gift. Beautiful. Beautifully put. <laughs> <laughs> I've got <Okay>. nothing. <laughs> I concur with your statement. Yes. What a beautiful uh, last question. <laughs> well, it's super super happy to talk to you and uh, <laughs> really excited Thanks to so see much. you back on the ice um, eventually. But you know, happy to hear that this time has been very valuable for you and um, the skating world misses you. Um, so stay healthy and uh, looking forward to seeing you back out there. Thank you very much. Well, have fun guys. Thank you for inviting me to your show that I always love watching. Absolutely. You gotta be on TV. <laughs> YouTube. So like YouTube. almost. almost. <laughs> <laughs>